Today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to play a nice leisurely game of car bowling. We'll show you how to set up some pins and knock them down in a few different bowling venues. It might be fun and exciting. Stick around to find out. Want to play some car bowling, the first thing we need to do is find a bowling lane. In this video, I'll be showing you four different lanes. The first one's located over on Grid Map, over in the area known as City. At the edge of the city area, you'll find a parabolic ramp. I'm going to roll the vehicle that I'm going to use as a bowling ball down the face of that ramp, across the flat area, and into a set of pins that are going to be placed right here. Next, we need to go get the bowling pins, which can be found in the BMG repository. Just look for bowling pins, and they should be the only item on the list. Next, spawn the pins just like you would any other vehicle. Now we actually have to place the pins, and to do that, we bring up the world editor using the F11 key. Up on the tool strip, you'll find translate and rotate, and those can be used to move the pins around until you have them lined up and placed exactly where you want. After placing the pins, you'll want to set their home position so that they can be returned to that position after knocking them down. There is, however, a caveat to pin placement. After setting the pin's home position using Control Home, the first time you press Home after that, you'll notice that there is an offset that has been applied to the bowling pins. Fortunately, this behavior is fairly consistent and predictable. That means we can develop a workaround that compensates for it. To demonstrate the workaround, we'll first set the pins to zero degrees. Next, we set the bowling pin's home position and then reset it to see what the offset's going to be. Note that over here in the inspector window, it subtracted 44.468 degrees from the original zero degree angle that we had set. Since we want the pins to end up at zero degrees, then we would add 44.468 degrees to zero and then when we set the home position and reset it, we magically end up at zero, where we want to be. On this lane, we actually want to be at 90 degrees. So what we would do is add 90 to the 44.467 degree offset that will be subtracted and enter 134.467 degrees into the Z window, set the home position and reset it, and now we have the pins set up for this lane. Now it's time to pick the car that you want to use as a bowling ball. I've had pretty good luck with the off-road version of the Hiroshi Sunburst. To induce a rollover, we're going to use the stunt motor, which can also be found on the BeamNG repository. Search for stunt mortar, and it should be the only item that pops up. The stunt mortar supports all of the stock vehicles that come with BeamNG. The stunt motor can be installed in either the additional modification or license plate design slots. I have this vehicle configured to either roll left or roll right. This was managed by going into the tuning menu and setting up the stunt motor settings as shown. In the upper right corner of the screen, there's a tab you can pull on that will display the custom controls for the stunt motor. I currently have it set up to use button A on the controller to push in the forward direction and button X on the controller to push in the reverse direction. What that means is if I press the X button, the vehicle will roll to the left, and if I press the A button, the vehicle will roll to the right. That enables us to bowl left-handed or right-handed. Everything else is just a matter of timing. Might I get a strike here? I got a strike. The second lane that I'm going to show you is also on grid map. It's over in the half pipe section up on one of the lips on the half pipe. I call this the pro lane because it has gutters. Place the pins on this lane the same way as you did in the previous lane. You would place the pins in this 4x4 section at the end of the straightaway. The pins shouldn't be placed any closer on the lane because the surface is uneven. The parts that make up the surface on top of the lip aren't all at the same height. 
If the camera is brought closer to the ground, the edge between these two pieces is visible. If the bottom surface of one of the pins happened to span across that edge, the bowling pin would sit at an angle. That edge can also affect the vehicle driving down the lane if the edge of one of its tires happens to hit it. If while driving down the lane it seems that the car just doesn't want to go straight, that's probably the reason why. Since we're at the pro lane, let's start to keep score. Nine. Pick up the spare. Yes. Let's roll another two frames and then we'll move on to the next lane. Eight. Spare. Nine. Spare. The third and the fourth lanes that we're going to take a look at today are the landing ramp and the takeoff ramp at Car Jump Arena. These two lanes I'm going to collectively refer to as the power lanes. We're going to take a look at the landing ramp first. Pin placement at the bottom of the landing ramp is going to be the same as it was at the previous two lanes. If you look at the far wall of the landing ramp, you can see that it does not turn level until a little bit past the line that's at the bottom of the ramp. Place the pins about this far after the line in order to ensure that they are on level ground. Let's get another three frames out of the way. That's a, that's a, that's a seven. There's a spare. Eight. Three. That's horrible. There's a spare. Since the further away that you start to roll makes it more difficult to hit the pins, you could even come up with some kind of multiplier based upon how far up the hill you start your roll. Using a bus might be kind of cheating because it's just all too easy to get a strike. Now it's time for the fun part. We're going to knock pins off the end of the launch ramp at Car Jump Arena. Because the end of the ramp slopes downward, the easiest way to place the pins is to place a vehicle along the center line and then replace that vehicle with the pins. You'll note that the pins are leaning pretty far backward. This is due to the downward slope of the ramp. In fact, they're leaning so far backward that they're barely standing up on their own. With that kind of lean, it doesn't take much to knock them down. Watch what happens if I just barely tap the kingpin. They just fall like dominoes. They're just not very stable at all, so it just makes it way too easy to get a strike. But if everybody, if everybody is rolling on this same lane, then it makes it an even playing field. Now it's time for me to roll my last four frames, and I'm going to do so with the game volume up because the slow motion sounds are delicious.
Well, I managed to roll 207 in that game. Notice how drastically my scores improved at frame 7. That's when we started throwing down the launch ramp. Just like what you saw, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time.